Thank you for joining with me. We are in A Course in Miracles, the combined volume, third edition by the Foundation for Inner Peace. Thank you for joining with me in the second half of section five, The Christ in You in chapter 24, The Goal of Specialness. The Christ in you is very still. He knows where you are going and he leads you there in gentleness and blessing all the way. His love for God replaces all the fear you thought you saw within yourself. His holiness shows you himself in him whose hand you hold and whom you lead to him. And what you see is like yourself. For what but Christ is there to see and hear and love and follow home. He looked upon you first, but recognized that you were not complete. And so he sought for your completion in each living thing that he beholds and loves, and seeks it still that each might offer you the love of God. Yet is he quiet, for he knows that love is in you now and safely held in you by that same hand that holds your brothers in your own. Christ's hand holds all his brothers in himself. He gives them vision for their sightless eyes and sings to them of heaven that their ears may hear no more the sound of battle and of death. He reaches through them holding out his hand that everyone may bless all living things and see their holiness. And he rejoices that these sights are yours to look upon with him and share his joy. His perfect lack of specialness he offers you, that you may save all living things from death, receiving from each one the gift of life that your forgiveness offers to yourself. The sight of Christ is all there is to see. The song of Christ is all there is to hear. The hand of Christ is all there is to hold. There is no journey but to walk with him. You who would be content with specialness and seek salvation in a war with love, consider this. The Holy Lord of Heaven has himself come down to you to offer you your own completion. What is his is yours because in your completion is his own. He who willed not to be without his son could never will that you be brotherless. And would he give a brother unto you except he be as perfect as yourself and just as like to him in holiness as you must be. There must be doubt before there can be conflict, and every doubt must be about yourself. Christ has no doubt, and from his certainty his quiet comes. He will exchange his certainty for all your doubts if you agree that he is one with you, and that this oneness is endless, timeless, and within your grasp because your hands are his. He is within you, yet he walks beside you and before, leading the way that he must go to find himself complete. His quietness becomes your certainty, and where is doubt when certainty has come? And that is the conclusion of section 5 in chapter 24. I love you and I will see you tomorrow for section 6. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining with me.